an unlikely love story, an unlikely romantic hero. I used to drive a cab and I saw her. I drive her to work and home. I felt I had to speak to her. Day after day, I tell her I loved her. I told him to go away because I was afraid for him, that my brothers would kill him. Even my sisters fought with me. I was alone, no one would speak to me, but we kept going out. At the height of Iraq's civil war, Hassan and Zahra defined the world around them to be together. Shia, Sunni, Turkmen, I want this girl. They said, she's not your kind. She's Shia. I said, no, either her or no one. One of my sisters called me and said, if you don't leave him, I won't speak to you. And my husband would leave me. Do you accept my children and I will be thrown out of our home? We stayed in the car just crying. Harder times lay ahead after Zahra lost her leg in a bombing two years ago. But still, we've got a crazy love, they sing to each other. Wherever I want to go, he takes me, even to my mother and father's grave in Najaf, without fear. I went through operations and I would always find him by my side. He's never left me. I wasn't trying to hang on to him. In a way, the story of Hassan and Zahra is not just a triumph of love over hate, but of ordinary people against powerful forces around them. I was scared when we got married in Sadr City. They'd say, who are you, a Sunni, to go to Sadr City? I told them, leave it to God. I went in, we got married, and got out. But I was hesitant, I'd be targeted. There are places where none of this matters. Here, you can't tell who's Sunni or who's Shia. It's just Iraqis out for some fun. Maybe a bit crowded for Zahra and Hassan. They prefer their own little spot by the river. We Iraqis, when we love, if the other person is sincere, we sacrifice for them. Hassan sacrificed. Zahra sacrificed. Thank God we are unshakable. Nothing can drive us apart. In a region where sectarian war is looming again, hope comes in the bonds that hold together and in those who choose a different path.